Last week saw the end of Kieran Gillen's final arc in the main Star Wars comic line, The Scourging of Shu Torin. In the previous arc, our heroes got a little time to breathe and relax, but Leia spent her time developing a plan to get a little revenge on Queen Trios. Trios was responsible for selling out the Rebel fleet to the Empire, which resulted in the deaths of many members of Alliance High Command and the destruction of their Mon Calamari ships. Leia set into motion a plan that would remove Trios's industrial homeworld Shu Torin from the Imperial War Machine. She, Han, and Luke round up some of the colorful characters Gillen has included during his time writing the comic, including Two Tubes and the surviving partisans who follow him, and the changeling actor Tunga. His recruitment in particular was a lot of fun, as he retold a story about Luke and company, and all the actors were wearing costumes based off of Ralph McQuarrie's original concept art for Star Wars. The team's goal is to power down a building on Shu Torin called the Spike. It operates the entire planet, and without it, the people wouldn't be able to mine for the Empire. Disabling it would take Trios out of the fight, but would leave her people alive. The plan goes off without a hitch, except for Two Tubes, who rounds up his partisans to exact some real revenge. He wants to overload the Spike, which would tear the planet apart. Meanwhile, Leia and Han secure Trios' throne room to help the operation and provide a distraction. The Queen figures out what's going on and sees that the Spike could overload at any moment. She crashes her ship into the palace to stop the Rebels, but she is killed in a duel with Leia. As she dies, she admits that everything she did was to prevent the destruction of Shu Torin by the Empire, and Leia promises not to let her planet die. She heads to the Spike and actually convinces Two Tubes that destroying Shu Torin would make him no better than Tarkin and the Death Star, so they take the Spike down and escape. During that whole ordeal, Imperial Commander Kanchar hears about the Rebel activity and decides to bombard the planet from orbit, hoping to kill three heroes of the Rebellion. For failing to do so, or maybe it was just because he put Luke in danger, Darth Vader kills him, but admits that the Empire already has everything they need for their current projects, likely the second Death Star. Back on Home 1, Leia, Han, and Luke begin looking over a list of possible Rebel bases, Hoth being one of them. It sounds like their next mission will involve eventually settling on the ice planet. I thought this was a pretty decent final arc for Gillen to go out on. He's handled the main run for nearly two years now, and these last six issues felt like a finale, with returning heroes, villains, locations, and themes. I really like that he picked up on Shu Torin and the Trios character from the Darth Vader comic and finished her story. She and Leia are two sides of the same coin, leaders desperate to do right by their people, but they go about it all in different ways. I'm also glad we got to continue the story of Two Tubes and, in a way, the Partisans. Han even brings up the fact that they met each other way back on Savarine. All that said, I'm glad we're getting some new blood in the next issue. Greg Pak will be taking on the role of writer for the main line, and he's been doing a good job on the Age of Rebellion comics. The story will be nearing the time of The Empire Strikes Back as well, which is exciting. Maybe we'll start to get some stories that take place after Episode 5 as well, which is a rarely explored era, even when you take Legends into account. It's a bummer, but the main Star Wars line is probably my least favorite of the ongoing comic series right now. I haven't been as excited to read it since the Rebel Jail arc like three years ago, so I hope Pack breathes some new life into it for me. But I want to hear what you guys thought of the scourging of Shu Torin arc and Kieran Gillen's time writing the main Star Wars comic. Let me know in the comments. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.